Hi and welcome to our video which will explain to you how to implement the planned progress calculation in your schedules. Now why is it important to have actual and planned progress in your schedules? Well firstly PPO keeps track of both progress and then secondly you as a project manager need to know if your project is progressing or if your project is behind schedule and therefore you need both progress to be in your schedule as well as in PPO. Let me just quickly access a dashboard here to also show you where that actual and planned progress is reflecting. So here I've opened the portfolio view and you'll notice the planned and actual progress on here. If I go to my reports and I just quickly look at something like my task progress report and I can pick it for any project in this example and I open up the report then you'll also notice the planned progress here and the actual progress reflecting. We're going to now show you how to implement the planned progress calculation in your schedule. Now to get the formulas that you need to implement you're going to access the support portal and I'm just going to quickly do that. Now once you're logged into the support portal you'll notice the search option here at the top. Now either you can access the FAQs directly or I can just type here in the search box and I can hit enter and then you'll see this FAQ here that says how can the planned progress percentage be recorded in MSP and PPO. Now to demonstrate how I would implement this I'm going to just also quickly open a project schedule. So here's my project schedule that I'm going to use. You can see that I already have the actual progress in here but that I don't have the planned progress implemented. So I'm going to follow that FAQ step by step and then I'm going to show you how to do that here in an existing schedule or in a new schedule that you're starting. So let's go back to the FAQ. So here in the FAQ there's three steps that you're going to follow. The first column you're going to implement is a number one field. Here at the bottom if you scroll down there's the formula that you are going to copy and then you'll see once you've copied the formula you need to also make sure that the sum roll-up option is selected. But I'm going to just now return back to the schedule and let's implement this number one field. So here where it says add new column I'm going to add the number one field then I'm going to right click on here select custom fields then here where it says formula I'm going to paste that formula so OK and here where it says roll up I'm going to choose sum and then click OK. Then you'll see some of these numbers changing. Now let's go back to the FAQ and get the formula for step two. So back at the formulas here you'll see the number two field. I'm going to just copy this formula. You're going to follow exactly the same steps and I'm going to quickly just implement that on my schedule. Back in the schedule let's add additional column number two right click on here go to the custom fields click on my formula paste the formula and then again where it says roll up I'm going to choose the option that says sum and then click OK. Then back to the FAQ to implement step number three. So here at the bottom the last step that we now need to do is to implement the text 10 field. So I'm going to copy this formula again and then the one different thing that I'm going to do with this last step is I'm not going to choose the roll up option I'm going to choose the option that says use formula. So let's go back to the schedule. So in here I'm going to add my last one which is a text 10 column. I'm going to right click I'm going to say custom fields click on the formula paste the formula and then here where it says roll up you'll see it's now disabled so I'm going to say use formula and click OK. So you'll see now that it's implemented the planned progress calculation. Last step you would now do is hide these two columns and then rename this column. I'm going to call it planned progress percentage. So now that that planned progress percentage is implemented in your schedule whatever that value is when you import the schedule into PPO the correct plan progress and of course the correct actual progress 
will then reflect in PPO. So thank you for watching this video and if you need any further assistance, please feel free to contact the support team and they would be glad to assist you.